Hello everyone! Welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial and happy Friday. This is our last video this week and that's sad, but we'll be back Monday with a whole nother five videos starting for that week. Uh, but today we'll finish off by actually making our for loop worth something. Alright, I'm back. My brother was knocking and had to ask some kind of stupid question, so uh, obviously I gave him the answer no. <laughs> Alright, back to work though. Whoa. Well, my speakers just fell. Eh. You guys are more important than a speaker to me. Alright. So, uh, today we're going to be making the for loop worth something. And by that, I mean we're going to make all those values that this for loop, uh, this for loop makes here. By the way. You guys see I blew up and enlarged the font uh, for scripting. It hopefully will make this much easier for you guys to read. If it does, please hit the like button and comment below that you like the bigger font and share this video with your friends. That would be an awesome help to me and it would really help these videos be better if you guys gave your input more. Uh, the input you do put in though, I do very, very much so appreciate. Thank you. Now, this for loop right now is making all these values. Here's how these values are going to work. When a key is pressed down, if that value exists, then that value's value will be true because it's pressed down. If it's not pressed down, it'll be false. So just to start out, we want to make sure that every value equals false. So let's just add key that value equals false at the end of our for loop, but not but still inside of it, not out of it. Now we can go back to our uh, local script and let's change this uh, script up. First we're going to make a new variable called player and this will be game.players.localPlayer and down here in the mouse we'll change it to player get mouse so it just looks a little cleaner and uh, then down here we'll do player you guys should remember how to index to get the uh, to get an object that is a child of another object rather than find first child or dot name you can just put the name in a string inside brackets very useful for when you're using a string as a um, the name of it uh, or a character in this case key dot value equals true in the key down so if it's down the value of the key will be true if it's up or if you release it then it will equal false. So now we can test this script out real quick. Um, it appears they aren't showing a new picture yet, but still congrats, Blevers. Great job there. Every time I see it, it looks better. Alright. So it's loaded. And now we can go to our player, player1. And let's just look through here and let's go to A. Now I want you to watch down here in properties. I want you to watch the value and see as it changes. I'm going to press A now. Release A. Press A. Release A. Press A. Release A. Press A. Release A. Press A. Release A. Release A. Okay, it's working. Uh, but we want to check numbers too. So let's just go up and check 7. Uh, Press 7, release 7, press 7, release 7, press 7, release 7. Alright, it's working. So, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Or, actually, just enjoy your weekend. Uh, because this is still Friday. So, enjoy your weekend. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.